Hello everyone, my name is HorseyEU, we're here with Fate Grand Order, and we finally made it. Lost Boat 6, we're out of Sakurai's Hellscape, we finished Olympus, we finished Hagen Kill. now we're here with Nasu. He's definitely not going to let us down, right guys, right? Right? <laughs> right, so this is an extremely long Lost Boat, we're going to be here for the next two years, so buckle, buckle up everyone, We've got a ride ahead of us. We're going to start with the prologue. We no area or just straight into it. They change it up sometimes, you never know. Okay, it looks like we're straight into it. Oh wait Merlin? I'm guessing I'm gonna guess Merlin. Oh I'm a genius. Well hello there. You still with the un you with the still unknown fake grand order. I trust you can hear me. Or perhaps hello again, Stargazer would be more appropriate. Either way, it doesn't really matter. You're here now, and I don't have to be bored out of my skull anymore. So, will you hear what I have to say? I assume he's not talking to us. I'm assuming there's a character here with him. My first guess would be Castor Artoria, since I know she's in this Lost Belt, but... Could be anyone? I suppose this is what I have to say exactly, then it is one of many songs the winds carried to me. Or he could be talking to us. We don't know. Merlin's like that, you know? He could break the fourth wall. I'll speak now of a future, the end of the Isle of Mystics, which came to be known as Fairyland. But the innocent return, here since the Queen's unknowable castle. It falls, it falls, like rain, like ash. It vanishes, it vanishes, like snow, like lies. Our desires languish, deferred. Even now we dance in the palm of the Queen's hand. We require now a little more patience. After 2,000 years, the dawn shall bring the child who will be our, our salvation. She shall be the child who saves the world, who binds both people together. Even if her light begins as but an ember, even should no one see it, she'll become as a flame to draw moths. A city of iron, a sea of soot, in the calamity of your seeds, her pilgrimage begins. Chosen by the staff of selection, the savior, guarded by travelers from afar, shall reach the throne. The true king shall arrive at the throne. Except now this bloodied crown. Ring, ring, like raging thunder, like weeping flame. Let us hearken to the six bells ringing, blaze the path of the true king. Sounds like something out of Dark Souls too. Ere the red calamity catches us, ere the black calamity devours us. Fair, less, less seek. Or uh, something like that. Indolent and Dur 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 How do you say that? Durillison? Dur Dur that, that's a word. <laughs> Though we may be, we are science the free fay. Never have we wished for anything, but still we desire a shiny future. So what do you think? Is it sweet time making its point, but you get it, yes? He, he spent all, all of uh, the Lost Boats writing that. <laughs> that's where he's been. That's just how it is with prophecies. They don't make sense when you first hear them, but once events unfold, you see exactly what they mean. Well, so... Obviously, he's talking about Artoria. Wondering if... Let's go over it. Hold on. Okay, so it's in Fairyland. We, we, we know this. There's fairies here. Here's it's the Queen's Unknowable Castle. I'm assuming that's talking about Morgan. It, uh, it falls, it vanishes. Green, like ash. Don't lie. I don't know. The desires languish deferred. Deferred. We dance in the palm of the Queen's hand. So Morgan's it up. She's Puppet Master. After 2,000 years, child will be our salvation. I do know, uh, there's like a timeline and like, when you're on the map screen so you can see everything. So 2,000 years might be important. I think there's a timeline. I, I vaguely remember that from the Japanese servers. Who binds both people together. I'm assuming that's talking about humans and fairies. I, I know fairies are in this. I assume humans are in this too. City of Iron, Sea of Suit. Not for sure about that. Staff is the election because she's a caster. Uh, the true king shall arrive at the throne. I wonder if that's talking about a literal throne or the throne of heroes. Okay. And then since there are a lot like a curse that fixed itself to your back before you knew it was there. Oh, looks like a scary lady found me. <laughs> this is all I can do for now. <laughs> The next time I see you will probably be after everything else is said and done. In the Nasuverse, is it, did Morgan, like, 
kill Merlin? Or that's how it works in uh, Arthurian legend, right? I think Morgan or Mor Morgas, depending on the version, lock him in a cave. But I guess Merlin doesn't die, right? She probably just sealed him away. It's a shame I won't be able to help you fight, but I'm hugely relieved I won't have to fear for my life. Alright then, I'll be waiting for you in the confined land. Till next time. Bye Merlin. I'm gonna do a risky maneuver and move my microphone up. Okay. Last time I did that, uh, it stopped working back in Olympus. The Kirstaria episode. Is that a dream? Oh, he was just talking to us, okay. Oh, come on! It's like the start of an event. Uh, testing, testing. Good morning, everyone. This is Sion. Sion. This is Sion, right? The time is now 7 a.m. Very sorry to disturb you all during your precious, quiet early morning hours. But I have an urgent message to relay to all of Novum Caldea staff. There's been a change in the sixth loss bump. The emergency situation was predicted. we predicted is now in progress. Please remain calm and come to the command room as soon as you are able. Oh crap! Come on, Paul! What, are even like the... the random people have to show up? Like, you know, the, just the generic staff, like a French cooking boy? He just turned and left. He senses Merlin! He knows! Oh, okay, you turned it off. Uh, Watch your key relay, reporting for duty. What's going on here, Master? Hmm. <laughs> Don't bother asking Horsey Key Ray Light. There was a very l lack of a Gordolf in hand kill. We need more of him. Key and I both just got here ourselves, so it was as little as you. I don't even see my technical advisor or the captain anywhere. The only other ones here are that unflappable alchemist. And alchemist? Uh, oh, Sion, right. Wandering Sea. Good morning, my distinguished colleagues. Hey, Holmes. To see by your healthy complexions that you all slept marvelously last night. night. Wonderful. I'd say this fulfills the first condition, wouldn't you, Miss Sion? Yes, I think so. It's very lucky that you're all in such good health right now. Let us see, we have Horsey and Mashu the demi servant, the field op team. French cooking boy the pilot, Tomlin and Kawata the operators. Oh, they have names! Octavia, the Vinci's assistant, really? Chin, the vehicle mechanic? What, they're, you're, they're getting names? Oh, they're gonna kill them all up! Cayenne, the munitions and design engineer, Elrond, the record keeper, Marcus, the Spiritron engineer, and Gordolf, who was just enjoying a heaping plate of pancakes with a rather generous drizzling of honey. Oh, he's our boss! See now, one of you so much is betting an eye at this dire situation. Truly, you are all seasoned veterans. Well, I mean, yeah, this is like, what, the 13th time this has happened? This will make it so much easier to tell you what's going on. Oh, for it. Really don't like the way this is going, but come on, let's hear it. What is going on already? So, Lost World 6 doesn't have a tree anymore, right? So my guess, in Hay and Co, uh, Limbo said that the tree is both to kind of root the Lost Belt in place and be a divine vessel. What if like, someone like, you know, ate the tree and became the the divine vessel, right? So they, they became, uh, essentially... Their own foreign god, like Limbo did. Wouldn't that mean that they would be rooting the Lost Belt in place? Does it have something to do with that searing red light flashing more godly than I've ever seen it flash before? Is there a fire in the kitchen now or something? Oh no, nothing like that. This is only a tiny planetary crisis that will eradicate us all in about 24 hours if we do not stop it. Okay, yeah, now that's serious. Eradication. Well, that's a much bigger deal than I was expecting. Wait. What do you say? You Egyptian knee suck wear. <laughs> that's a, uh, that's a name. <laughs> Seems very rude to me to boil down people to their nationality, appearance, and or choice of apparel. I, I agree with that, but please, let's not get sidetracked right now. Does Mashu wear knee socks? Dr. Gordolf, Master, and all the other staff members are still grappling with this news. What exactly do you mean by planetary crisis? I'm sorry, you're right. We do not have a lot of time to spare, so I'll be as forthright as I can. As you know, it has been about three weeks since the shocking operation to eliminate Limbo. But three weeks? That was yesterday! <laughs> but, okay, the timeline's weird. Is, how long was there between Hay and Kyo and Lost Belt 6? Like six months or something? Even a little longer? 
I, I miss a. Uh, what do you call the uh, like the first part of Fake Grand Order? The Timeless Temple, something like that. Uh, I miss that when everything took place in real time. But of course, you know, it did have like a schedule to follow. In that time, Novo Caldea has been tuning up to the storm border and devising plans of attack for the remaining 6th and 7th Lost Belts. That said, as I have told you all before, there is no need to infiltrate Britain, the site of the 6th Lost Belt. So I have been focusing my efforts on the 7th Lost Belt, where the Foreign God is hiding out. Yes, I remember. I said we could leave the 6th Lost Belt to its own devices because... Go on, horsey teller. Doesn't have a tree of happiness anymore. Indeed, the tree of happiness that helped establish the British Lost Belt was used to burn down the tree of happiness in Olympus. As further oh right, right, I remember that. They had the guy in the tree. As further proof, we have not observed any magical energy readings associated with the trees of happiness coming from Britain since then. As such, the British Lost Belt should disappear on its own, much like the Chinese one did. Or so we thought. Right. The British Lost Belt might still be shrouded on a wall of light, but it's no longer a threat to humanity. At least, that's our understanding. Is that not the case? No, it is. We're still keeping it under observation, but we did not consider it a threat. Not until this very moment, anyway. This is the Paper Moon's planetary observation. Wow, what's with this weird map? Why is uh, America on the right side? And, you know, the lesser countries on the left side. <laughs> we all know we should be first. Uh, this is the Paper Moon's planetary observation grid. These are Shiva's predictions. According to this, the British Last Belt will vanish in about 24 hours. When it does, it will also engulf the rest of the planet like an enormous tsunami. Earth will then crumble under the weight of its own gravity, utterly annihilating the planet. We're not talking about one of the foreign god's pseudo black holes. This would well and truly be the end of Earth. Oh, that's not good. Uh. So there's nothing rooting in a place. I, I was wrong. It's just, you know, <laughs> it's taken us out with it. This will override humanity's current bad ending, the bleached earth phenomenon, with a completely dead end. So I wonder, like, what's David? Like, is he just taken in a stride? Like, oh yeah, Earth, Earth gets killed. <laughs> Who cares? Maybe he has like bigger spider things to worry about. But, but why is this happening? Also, the South American Lost Belt is pretty big. That we do not know. But now that we know what will happen if left unchecked, we can ill afford to simply sit back and twiddle our thumbs. The Vinci and Captain Nemo are in the storm border as we speak, getting it ready to launch. Up until now, we've been using the Shadow Border to infiltrate the Lost Belt via Void Space. But this sudden development has left us without the time we need to prepare. Are we gonna ray shift? Can we ray shift? Fortunately, we now have the storm border, which is capable of directly breaching the wall surrounding the Lost Belt. As a battleship, the Storm Border is essentially our frontline base. While we're still be conducting on-site investigations in the Shadow Border, having a base where we can always resupply will be a tremendous asset. Furthermore, Trismegetus II categorized this phenomenon as a collapse. But one could also call it a trap, or perhaps a pitfall. Are they trying to lure us there? A pitfall? Then do you think Pit Britain is going to cave in on itself? Or sink underwater? But Freddy can offer no definitive answer until we get there. Regardless, I expect not even the foreign god herself foresaw this turn of events. It's all well and good that Britain will disappear. It's only to be expected now that his tree of happiness is effectively dead. But if that disappearance is going to engulf the entire planet, this is just a matter we must investigate and ultimately resolve. After all, there would be no feasible way to restore Earth to its pre-bleached state if there's no Earth left to restore. That's so true, Holmes. Thank you, you genius. Okay, I'm with you there. What the hell can we do with only 24 hours? That's his new voice. A lot, as a matter of fact. You see, that 24 hour period is in our time frame. Oh, it's all according to our calculations! But according to Shiba, time moves very differently within the last fall. Oh! It's a hyperbolic time chamber. Or Seraph. Once inside the British last belt, our time constraint will cease to be a concern. So as long as you can resolve this phenomenon while you're there, we should be all set. That said, time is still definitely not on our side. Which is why we're going to have all of Caldea's staff board, board the storm border and head for Britain as soon as we finish our final safety check. Oh no, Marcus is gonna die. Marcus. Then once you arrive at its wall of light, you'll use the storm border's dimension piercing drill to, to breach it. 
Then make your way into Britain, the sixth lost belt. That's all I have to say. Luck would have it, the storm border is just a reactor to the dock. I know this mission is being sprung on you very suddenly, but Evincy will fill you in on the details of aboard the storm border. Careful out there, everyone. Cannot wait to hear what sort of fun hijinks you get up to in this time. Everyone except Sion is going. Huh? You want to come do? <laughs> Sorry, you're right. I did see the entire stuff. When is Sion going to do something? She's kind of just been hanging out this entire time. Like, she's... She's got to be relevant sometime, right? Sorry, you're right. I did see the entire stuff. Actually, isn't she... I've... Maybe I heard wrong, but maybe she's important in the new uh, chapter that came out on the Japanese server, Ordeal Call. My bad, not phrase that as intended. But it would be much too presumptuous to count a newcomer like myself as a member of Caldea's staff. Please, do not worry about me. I'm just gonna stay here and continue to monitor the seventh lost belt. Do your best out there, horsey. Promise I'll do the same here. It said, We all should blow this one. Both I and this base will cease to exist in about 24 hours. So I'm counting on you more than ever. But I'm not all at all worried. I know you'll succeed. Is it according to your calculations? Thanks, Sion. You were in there too. But what are you gonna do? You got like a telescope, you're looking or <laughs> looking at David, try to find out if he's a David Blue Book or not. Oh yeah! We got a big old pretty view now. Attention all crew members! I repeat, attention all crew members! We have arrived at the waters near the British Lost Belt two hours after departing the Wandering Sea, just as we expected. We're currently 200 kilometers north of the Isle of Britain. The Wall of Light looks to be a dimensional rift, just like the world's end from the Sixth Singularity. Thanks to the Vinci and Professor's analysis, we've learned that the rift is at its thinnest on the southern side. So that is where we'll be heading, and we'll begin the dimensional, dimensional boarding as soon as we arrive. At first, I thought they uh, misspelled dimensional. No, oh, that's just me. Uh, I was about to be like, ooh, a typo! <laughs> Looks like to begin the operation in 45 minutes. All hands, remain at your post until further no notice. There you have it. We're gonna begin the operation as soon as possible without any breaks. Storm Border is a big ship after, after all, so it can't just slip into void space like the Shadow Border. What it can do is, is use its massive propulsive force and magical energy barriers to withstand the dimensional friction that separates different worlds. Basically, it's a giant drill. What we're going to do is fire the storm border through that wall of light like a bullet. The entry impact will be just as strong as it is for a zero cell, so make sure you're all in a calm state of mind. If you're confused, distraught, or terrified, then your soul might not be able to keep up with your body. That's not good. Yes, I'm all aware. Oh, so Gordolf's coming with us. I wonder if he's coming with us or if he's just going to stay on the ship like an Olympus. You mean that weird sensation where it feels like your chest and head are being stretched out like Kathy, right? No need to worry about us, Captain. This isn't our first rodeo. More importantly, um... We do have a firm plan of action in place, yes? Because I don't even want to think about entering our lost belt without a strategy or a goal. Of course we do. Don't worry, Gordy. We know exactly what it is we have to do. After all, after all we are always planning on going after the British lost belt at some point. Really? You worry? But I thought the British Lost Bow is no longer a threat. He's up until today. I mean, you gotta have the plan in your back pocket. Right you are. But nonetheless, we are indeed making plans to explore it well before now. Oh, we only have a few bits and pieces of information to work with at the moment. We do know that Barrel Gut remains in the British Lost Belt. We gotta kill him. Heard our boy Kristaria. As King was able to launch an attack on Olympus's Tree of Emptiness. Oh, oops. What's more, this king was even able to burn the very tree of happiness required to sustain their lost belt. So basically, they think they could be a threat to us in the seventh lost world, or, or even after that. But still unclear whether Barrel tricked them into doing so, or if they acted with in, informed consent. What matters is that, that they possessed enough power to burn the tree of happiness single-handedly. And then there's Rungo Minion, right? Yeah, that was a... <laughs> I still love that moment. Yep, hugely powerful spell. A kind of divine punishment that was able to reach Olympus all the way from Britain. A mystic that surpassed even Kirstarnia's ideal magecraft. Those young girl mini at all, right? The spell devised not by human hands, but by the inner sea of the planet itself. It'd be a powerful weapon against the foreign god, which is something we desperately need. 
What, we're gonna steal Yongo Minio? We have Lance Oratoria! And it's Inner Sea? What is that? Well, I assume the Servant version doesn't have, like, the... The... Complete version. Or the real version, right? It's like a weekend. Probably? Maybe? Oh, that? It's basically Paradise of Legend. Oh, you know how, uh, Saber Sword has seals on it? Maybe it's something like that. Every mythology's got some sort of promised eternal holy land, right? Utopia, the Garden of Eden, the land of the young turn. What? Turn on Nong? It's a fancy O, so I assume no. And so on. Oh, Britain's called Avalon. It's supposed to be another. I forget what voice I did for him already. He, yeah, that's his new thing. He just has a different voice every time. It's supposed to be another worldly paradise that can't be reached by ordinary means. It's also said to be the lie inside the planet. That's where the soul stars go to sleep. Are oh, we going back to Agartha? Where does every clock tower and major heard about it? Not call it a legend. That's not how the people who can actually see it think of it. There's some people out there who really might be able to get to the planet's inner sea. Hell, Clock Tower's even got an apartment for exploring it. Really? Which one? That's it, we're talking about a place that's completely outside human comprehension. Once you get mixed up with someone like that, practically we're already lost to, to a world outside of our own. <laughs> what are you saying, Manny Paza? Are you talking about the underground workshop? What, what, what is Gordal's voice? Oh no, <laughs> everyone has a different voice. They're just an ordinary archaeological, archaeological team with a fancy name. Really, how could anyone take them seriously after they proudly proclaimed that they found the Earth's belly button underneath the clock tower? What if they actually did? It would be something of a magecraft elitist, but even I would be too embarrassed to say something like that with a straight face. Ahem. <clears throat> We're quite done with the de decoration about the Mage Association, the clock tower's inner politics. Let's return the subject at hand, shall we? Now that we know the King of the British Lost Belt controls Yorongo Minion, we need to investigate and learn how it works. The Yorongo Minion is the very reason why we were already making plans to explore the British Lost Belt. While the circumstances have fo forced us to act sooner than we had hoped, we are always going to pay them a visit eventually. So then, Esther's mission this time isn't just to investigate the Lost Belt. Well, we do of course also need to prevent the collapse of Christmas Gideon's second warning is about. Zagar and Gongo Midgard is our top priority. As such, our ultimate goal for this last one is to negotiate with its king for it. <laughs> Hello! One Grango Midian, please! We'll give you, um, one saber figurine. You don't want to cut a deal with this last one's king? Someone capable of essentially firing intercontinental ballistic missiles at will? Yep. Honestly, I think it's pretty reckless, even for us. Love to get my hands on Grango Midian, too. But between the storm border, the heroic spirit system, and the black barrel? Oh, yeah, we have the black barrel. I think we should be able to neutralize the so-called president, I mean, planet level guy like the foreign god if the circumstances call for it. Sion was adamant that we need a divine construct though, so here we go. At first I was like, what, what does Da Vinci want with Obama? I, I don't know why I still think of Obama as president, given it's not 2012 anymore, but... <laughs> well, Miss Sion is an atlas alchemist. I have no doubt she has something unique in mind. Let's not forget, we wouldn't have the nod of the suit with the storm order if it weren't for her. So I, for one, am perfectly willing to go along with this plan of hers. Especially if it leads to us acquiring Rango Midian or something equivalent. Oh, for... Don't you think you're just being a little overly optimistic here, Holmes? This could be the biggest burden we've asked Horse Eve to bear so far, you know? Mission does seem a little different than the others. We'll have to continue this conversation later. We almost reached the drilling point. All hands, return to your posts. Race for the space-time crossing impact. Nemo just like saying silly things. Oh, hey, sorry, Captain. I want to see Marcus the sprite. Ah, oh, crap! The walls are right in front of us. Sorry for not paying attention, Captain. All right, I understand. Still don't like it, but at least I get the point of this mission now. Remember, Horsey, this won't be like any of the other lost we've faced so far. Negotiation requires a careful, thoughtful approach, so try to keep your reckless risk-taking risk to no more than 30% of your usual antics. Got it, only 30%. Good grief, yay yay. Seems Gordolf beat me to the punch. As important as this mission may be, it should be within our ability to acquire the weapon. Fortunately, we have both knowledge and time on our side. Regardless of what sort of person we may be dealing with, as long as we take things one step at a time, we're sure to arrive at the truth eventually. Horsey strapped in and ready. Good. Professor, start the final safety check. Storm order, initiate zero coding. 
Oh, you have to say Genji Advance! Yay! Triton engines 1, 2, and 3 are all green. Space and time difference corrections between Storm Border and Drilling Target of a Calcul- See, it just says silly stuff. The Vinci will protect the ship's armor from the computer room, while the Nemo series focuses on man maintaining our route. Computer rooms just gave us the all clear, Captain. Looking at 99.9% chance of success. Hey, not bad. Dimension piercing battleship Storm Border move out. Prepare to enter the sixth lost belt. And then we get the animation. Oh, we're gonna get the grade? Yeah, yeah, okay, Lost Boat number six. Lost Boat Depth EX. Fay Round Table Domain Avalon Le Fay. The moment a planet is born. I think the name was slightly different in the Japanese version. Like, the second? The minute? Maybe, maybe it's always been the moment. Maybe I'm just stupid. I forget what the map looks like. Any second now? And he said, come on, Paul. We want to see. Oh, wow, look at this map, guys. Oh, wait, there's more? I thought I already did all of these. Yeah, I... I'm being tricked. Oh, wait, this is complete any quest. Oh, okay. The daily, gotcha. We don't have any music yet. Ah, oh, man, they're baiting us. I want to hear the music. I... Look, two years is a long time, okay? I have no recollection of the last about six. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. With some more fake grand order. If you uh, like the video, you could like, like or subscribe or comment. You know, I found every time I say it, it actually gets more people to like and subscribe and comment. So, <laughs> I just keep saying it. <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye.